friends many a times during these sessions you have been asking us the doubts on how to differentiate whether it is infection or it is tumor on the mri so this particular session is going to help you with regards to the findings on the mri for you to understand better when it is put to you in the exam whether you are dealing with infection or tumor this is not just important in regards to your case presentation or exactly when you are seeing the radiology it is also important for your table viva because in your table viva in your radiology section there may be such images which would be kept and asked to you why is it tumor and why is it infection so let's discuss what are the findings on mri that will tell you whether it is infection or tumor so generally the rule is the soft tissue planes are generally respected by tumor which is not the case with infection the other important thing is generally infection is paradiscal which is not the case with tumor the other important thing is pedicle involvement which is generally seen in tumor and never seen in a case of infection along with this presence of epidural abscess soft tissue as are generally the findings that are present with infection and not with tumor my friends one other important thing for this session is understanding the terms hyper intense and hypo intense when i say hyper intense it means looking more white when i say hypo intense it means looking more towards black so remember when i ever i say hyper intense what i mean is it is looking more white and when i say hypo intense it means it is looking more black so remember this because these are the terminologies that i was going to use through this session so now these are the images of infection i am telling you out front but why exactly is this an infection so now as we see when this mri is put to you first understand the first image is the t1 image the second image is t2 image and why is that look at the intensity of csf the csf in t2 is hyper intense and this hypo intense in t1 along with that the disc spaces look hyper intense in t2 and they look hypo intense in t1 so when we see in this mri when we talk about the pathological level as we see over here there is hypo intensity in the area of subchondral bone in the paradiscal space what do we mean by paradiscal area is basically the area which is around or in proximity to intervertebral disc so the most common sign that would tell you that it is an infection is having this kind of hypo intensity on t1 image when we look at the t2 image it just shows some amount of end plate changes along with that if you look closely over here is the epidural collection and one other important thing is that if you compare this affected disc space with others this looks to be hyper intense it is more white so whenever you have a picture which shows some epidural collection with hypo intensity of disc spaces that is in the paradiscal area along with that some hyper intensity of disc space on t2 this all is an indicator that what we are dealing with is an infection this particular patient after we followed him after giving him antibiotics and the conservative line of management as you see 
this particular component of epidural abscess is gone over here. So this is what we meant when we said that the soft tissue may go away with proper antibiotics when the epidural space is just there with the soft tissue and there is no significant neuro deficit. However, because of the disease process, we do see some increased amount of end plate destruction. What do we do of this? We do nothing of this and we just follow up the patient. Now when we look at the images in the axial plane, so what are the indicators that will tell you whether this is infection or whether this is tumour? This again is an example when we are going to